Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here coming at you with part two of two, the second half of this dual case break, 48 total boxes. Um, if you're looking for part one in a separate video and part one will have its own recap at the end, the second case recap will be at the end of this video. Um, two case break, one spot gets you two teams. The randomizer will also be in part one if you're looking for that. No vet commons ship. And here is here are the results of that randomizer. I'll show this to you once again. And you'll see at the beginning of part one. Such a long break that this is an hour and a half plus. So decide to split it up into two different videos. All right, get some dust out of here. Let's get this settled right over here. And here is another 24 boxes of that retail case, Daughters Optic Basketball. Good luck, everybody. These are kind of heavy, too. Gilo, what's going on? Kilo, you're watching my favorite team, the Chiefs. I'm sorry about your Raiders loss. Kilo, I know how big of a Raiders fan you are. Yeah, the part, the part one cliffhanger. Boy, what's gonna happen in part two? This could be one of those. This could be one of those situations, Mike, where the sequel could even be better than part one. There is that possibility. It's, that is true, Mike Tower. The, the cast from part one, also here in part two, which helps. LaMelo Ball is in part two. Anthony Edwards, Cole Anthony, James Weissman, all of the same cast from part one here in part two. You know, G-Lo didn't really care about the refs. I don't complain about refs. That's for casuals. You know, you know what I'm complaining about? I'm complaining about just bad penalties from, from the Raiders, from my Raiders offensive line during key moments. That, that makes me more angry than, than refs calls. Besides, Ra Raiders got a soft, uh, they, they, got, they ended up getting a soft roughing the passer penalty at the end anyway. That evened it out. You know, didn't didn't really like Derek Carr forcing in the ball to, to Zay Jones at the end of the game. Oh, there's Anthony Edwards. Logan, what's up? You, you Did you parlay your St. Nick credit into a spot in the wax party? Nice. Congrats. Yeah, Alex Leatherwood was playing the better part of the game. Yep, yep, yep. Rough season for him. I, I mean, I think he's going to be, be fine going forward. 
you know, as, as a career. Everyone said the same thing about Colton Miller, that UCLA offensive lineman. Here's LaMelo, another one for uh, Jesse in the Hornets. And that Anthony Edwards goes to... Um, that Anthony Edwards will go to Joshua and Minnesota. But yeah, I mean, Cold Miller also struggled his first season or two. But then it's turned out that he got a second contract with the Raiders, so I think it turned out to be turned out to be pretty good. And I think Leather will be the same, but just a rough year for him. I think the Raiders early in the season lost lost a, a, a few, two or three offensive linemen that they counted on to play a lot more than Alex Leather were. They were just kind of kind of kind of uh, ease him in throughout the season, but it's been a rough trial by fire for him. I did not see that, Gilo. Someone put down $220,000 on the Steelers at plus 13. I'm not sure. How is he feeling about that? I wonder how that person's feeling about that right now. Chiefs just scored a touchdown. I think if you were going to go Steelers, you probably you would probably go Steelers first half. Whatever the first half line was must have been like I don't know if they they split it in half just exactly like that, but but I don't know maybe maybe Steelers first half I could see that being interesting, but by the end of the game that's rough. Like, uh, but hey, I mean, if you're putting down, oh, nice Kenyon Martin Jr. rookie autograph for Houston. Nico. I guess if, uh, if you're able to lose $220,000, you know, maybe that's like a, maybe that's like a hundred dollar bet to the rest of us. You know, not, not the end of the world for him. Must be nice. You know, I'd like to have $220,000 to, to bet on a very big long shot. Now remember, vet commons don't ship in this break, right? But that's a parallel, so obviously... That will ship. You know, inserts like this obviously will ship. All right, next box. Mike Tower, did I see the? Did you see the email today from Leaf? No, I did not. They were selling set warm costumes from Paul Rudd. And Will Ferrell in the shrink next door. Their wardrobe from that movie? Interesting. So what happened to the? Uh, what, what do you think they did? They did they sell already? Mike Tower. I wonder what this what that goes for. For an interesting movie to sell wardrobe. Logan. So what happened with those breakers and that kaboom card? Are they done, or do they redeem themselves? Well, I mean, I don't think they really did anything illegal per se, right? So I'm sure they're. I'm sure they're operating as usual. But I'm sure their their reputation around the industry has de definitely taken a hit. Hopefully they'll learn from it and be better. I 
Yeah, so I mean, yeah, not illegal, just scumbaggish, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, I suppose, uh, I suppose it depends on how they present themselves going forward. Wow, Danny said they lost 3,000 subscribers in the first day after. Oh, I'm sure, I mean, and they're just, they're gonna have to live that down for the rest of their, rest of their careers as group breakers, you know what I mean? Danny's saying that's worse than Cooked to 99 for you? Is, is that worse? I don't know. They're both kind of the same, right? They're both like presenting one thing, stealing at the end of the day. I don't know. Maybe the sheer blatantness of it for the Kaboom guys. Is it a hundred times worse? I just I think they're both awful. But is it a hundred times worse? Maybe it is. I mean, they're to me they're both kind of reprehensible, and I'm not going to try to split hairs on on that. Logan's off crop tops now after that. Yeah, you can't be out in the streets wearing that. Yeah, maybe maybe Mike saying Kaboom's was just more upfront. At least you know the card. Yeah, the blatantness of it, the sheer blatantness of it makes it even worse. Yeah, it was pretty... I actually did not catch that... I didn't. I actually have not watched the full video, but I think I know enough. But oh yeah, they should be shunned. I I, I agree with that, Sam. Yeah, I guess it's just the way they did it was was just yeah, bad, bad, bad by them, bad on them for sure. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully they learn they they learn from it. But it'd be hard hard to hard to trust them, right? Going forward. Mike saying makes you makes you, <laughs> yeah. What the co you, you know what the cost of their integrity is, for sure. Well, Justin Clement saying a lawyer offered to help the guy who was supposed to have gotten the card and the the guy who was supposed to get the card refused. Sounds like he got paid off. If you were him, you would have taken the, the payoff and then still pursued legal action. You almost kind of have to. I, I, I think the... Wouldn't you? Should you? You know, because maybe the legal action prevents them from from doing it again. Because what what's the lesson they learned? They maybe the lesson they learned was, hey, you lose a few thousand subscribers, but you end up with a twenty thousand dollar kaboom card, and and we can just pay people off going forward. Ooh, look at this! A hollow Lamelo ball, nice. Jesse with the Charlotte Hornets.
And you hope something like that doesn't get too much press and then have the government wanting to regulate brakes. Yeah. I, but it wasn't a group break, though, right? It was a giveaway. You know? And I mean, that, that's like the worst, the even almost even worse. You know? Because you have to regulate giveaways within a chat. Like, what kind of, what kind of disclaimers do you have to just give away something? You know, that would be the, that would be the hassle. I don't know why they, it would have been easier if they just gave it away, gave the box away and didn't even open it live. Why even open it live? I, again, I, I have not seen the uh, the video yet. I will, but I just haven't seen it. It almost sounds like to me, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, it just sounds like to me that they were kind of naive and just sort of panicked in the wrong way. <laughs> like Logan was saying, in that sort of excitement to fear to greed, you know what I mean? So it sounded like to me that, I mean, but how hard is it to run a giveaway? You know, what did they, what did they think was going to happen? You run a giveaway and not give the thing away? Imagine if like a radio station did that. Hey, be caller number five and you can win a PS5. And then you call and you're like, hey, caller number five. And you're like, hey, I'm Joe. New listener. Oh, new listener. Eh, you're not worthy of the PS5. We're going to take it away. And I'd be like, what? Radio station? You're screwing me out of a PS5? I, I did my part. I called in. I was caller number five. You said I was caller number five. How come I don't get the PS5? Be pissed. Jennifer, oh, there's no giveaway here. We were talking about somebody else. The guy legit said, I'm going to have to be the bad guy. Can't give this away. Wow. I mean, how do you just snatch that away? <laughs> that's 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 rough. Oh yeah, if you're talking about our latest promo where we're giving away a ton of ton of wax, then join then you can see the details on the website. Join us join a wax party break. Teddy and crop tops? Justin. I feel like I feel like we'd lose three thousand subscribers right then and there too.
Biggest hit so far, Will's asking. Uh, we pulled a, in the first, in part one, we pulled a hollow LaMelo ball rated rookie. In this spot, in this part two, the second case, we pulled another hollow LaMelo ball rookie, rated rookie. And in part one, we pulled a Anthony Edwards autograph. Which, uh, which is exactly what we're looking for. Booked up, Rex. Should have been here earlier. The early bird gets the breaks. I think you screwed yourself out of a, out of a break tonight, Rex. Their signature series, C.J. Ellaby, Portland, Will, with the spot that he won. Sounds better when you blame me. Fair enough. Chad's wondering if the extra playoff game ruined the wild card weekend. Only two good games so far, turning out to be three blowouts. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Is this the first time they had a Monday night playoff game? I think so. That I don't know. I think so. But Chad, you know, it doesn't matter what the what the content is, as long as the owners and the networks make their money, which they probably did. Quarter of the case done. Here's the next quarter. Yeah, that's the thing, Chad. We'll watch, you know what I mean? That's the thing. We will watch. Although if that extra playoff team wasn't there, I don't think the Raiders would be in, right? And that raiders Bengals game ended up being one of the more exciting ones over the weekend, so I don't know. Yeah, that Bills game, I think I ended up taking a nap in the middle of the game. I think I just had a big meal and passed out. Oh, well, the Raiders ended up being a five. Oh, that's right. They did end up being a five seed. Pittsburgh is a seven seed. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The, the, extra, the extra playoff game... I like the first. I like the first round buy for the number one overall. But I don't know. People want more playoff games. All right, next box. Uh, Jesse with the king will get all those Tyrese Halliburtons.
And a hollow Obi Toppin. Knicks, Will, with the Knicks. I think there was one in the first case, too. I think there should be numbered cards, Will, in a... Uh, there should be numbered cards in here, but I think they're few and far between, like the autographs. Someone say, I don't know, when being interviewed on the Nickelodeon broadcast. I think the Nick broadcast was, I, that's what I was watching too. I think that was pretty fun. I'm sure if a lot of families who have young kids would probably be watching that. I'll be watching that. It's good for the kids. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and all this stuff and every Sunday night when they do the intros for one of the teams when they do like Patrick Mahomes Texas Tech blah 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 right, right. they'll come in at the end and just say some random like name and, <laughs> and college and it's so funny every single time like it's the he, same joke every single time he, so he, he edits himself in there he literally no he just turns the camera on himself and he's like Cedric Highsmith <laughs> Florida State like all this stuff it's just so funny I don't know why it's so funny like it's so simple, but it's hilarious. And what is he like? A, and he's a TikTok star. Yeah, I mean, literally because of this. That's Here, it. I'll, I'll show you. That's it. That's you. all I gotta do. This is literally all you have to do. Oh, that was that was a deep cut, Mike Tower. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. I, the, the the simplicity and the repeat know, the, the simplicity the, and the repeatability and the, in, and the cut yeah the cut is yeah. perfect Some, so. okay all right oh, I boy. see you that guy dude I miss him mm. Drew Brees Drew Brees my boy come back Drew Brees Who's this guy that's Chris Collinsworth's son that's right he's a loser I think you feel like he's just, he's just on his like, dad's coattail yeah, or something yeah. yeah damn. Dude, Mahomes' TD prop was two and a half. You beat that in the first half. Did he score that? I have him scoring a touchdown. Did he score a touchdown? No, he, he's That's just, just throwing. Different. I've got... I need Ben Roethlisberger to complete some passes. He only has five. It's bad. I'm on... So I got... Didn't get Dallas minus three. Mm. Didn't get plus Philly eight. plus eight. Did not get those. Did not get the Jalen Hurts TD prop or the Cameron Break TD prop. Did not get Usechek or Cedric Wilson TDs. Wow. So I'm looking for a Najee Harris TD and a, Mahomes, and a rushing. Mahomes rushing TD. Mahomes rushing TD first touchdown was like plus 1,000. And I know people that's were not, like... That's not bad. It's not that a bad play. A bet today. It's not a bad play because he has run for touchdowns. His rushing over was easy money today. At some places Somewhat it was frequently. under 20. Like, you get it at like 18 and a half. Josh Green autograph, nice, nice. Dallas Joshua with Josh. Those autos are hard to hit out of there. Mm -hmm. Especially we pulled an Anthony Edwards auto in the first case, part two, part one. This wow. is part two. I think that's a case hit though, right? I, mean, I would think so. Cool. Yeah. Especially in this retail stuff. Yeah, but I feel I, I feel like I've hit multiple autos in a case. I don't know. Could be wrong. I think there's like a few, few per case. But they're 20 box cases, aren't they? Right. <laughs> they're pretty hefty. Purple Tyrese Halliburton. Little color match. Kings, Jesse. Love the purples. Yeah, that's the exclusive to this set, right? Mm -hmm. See, that's like the thing about retail is like it has the exclusivity of the parallel. And that's how that's it That's what makes it tick. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you can get the hollows and stuff like that. Still get hollows. Exactly. Love the hollows. We have not seen any Anthony Edwards color yet, though. We saw we saw a purple Lamelo. 
graded rookie. I pulled one of those blue one. out of 85s for the first time the other day. Those are really rare. And it was a LeBron My House. Ooh, yeah, the numbered ones aren't yeah. too common, right? Yeah. The only numbered cards in retail are out of 85, and then the 101 blacks. Gotcha. All instead right. of the gold vinyls, because it's the retail version. All right, they're not gonna they're not gonna give you too many. They're gonna make it easy for you to get a gold vinyl. Um, all right, I'm gonna go eat. All right. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, Josh. All right. So if you were on Instagram, Josh, we'll be back shortly. Trendsetter, what's going on, Aaron? How are you? The Key and Peel in intro parody videos. That sketch, that was a pretty good sketch. A one of one Obi Toppin? Yeah, that'd be nice. We, we saw some hollows. Hollows. An autograph would be nice. An Obi Top and one of one would be nice. Saw someone on Facebook pull the Brooks Robinson auto out of a blaster. I'm starting to see people post really nice autos out of blasters and hangers. Unless they're lying. Are there like actual videos of them pulling those from blasters? All right, next box. All right, Will does have Orlando, too. Yeah, we want to find some color on that rated rookie. Cole Anthony would be pretty awesome. Some ink, maybe, would be great. Ooh, hollow rated rookie Lamello? No, his teammate, Nick Richards. But there's a base one right there. Right, Rex, yeah. People don't lie on social media. People never would lie about the hits they pulled from something. There's a manual quickly, too. That guy's pretty good. Yeah, Justin's saying if that kid didn't post him pulling the trout patch out, auto out of a blaster, he never would have believed it. Right, video or it didn't happen.
D Rob. Oh, nice purple rated rookie Cole Anthony. There you go, Will. Orlando Magic. Purple Parallels exclusive to this retail set. Rated rookie hollow, Tyrese Maxey for the Sixers. That'll be for Jordan. James Weissman for Jordan Ashton and the Warriors. Ooh, this is a good spot for my Patrick Mahomes rushing touchdown. Plus 400. Let's go, Patrick. It'll be a it'll be a let's call a run a run play option, fake handoff, quarterback keeper, and oh, you can try it again. Little quarterback keeper, fake handoff. Take everyone one way. Mahomes goes the other way. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Four to one for Mahomes to rush for a touchdown at some point in this game. It's a little bit, a little bit of high odds for a for a prop, but I feel like I can get it right here. Mahomes, now it's you. No, take him down at the one. Still have the rest of this quarter and the fourth to go. Crazy how many people have won the top two promo spots. I mean, everyone in the top two wins promo spots. Do we do five five breaks with promo spots? I'm confused, Rex. Scared and confused. Please explain. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just a caveman breaker, Rex. Your world scares and confuses me. Oh, how many of the same people won the top two spots? Interesting. It's good for those people. Congrats. That's how it works out sometimes. Can't win if you don't play. Speaking of lotto tickets, Justin, I think uh, Mega Millions is at $325. $325 million. There's a drawing tomorrow. I get myself a. I get myself a few. <gasps> Not a touchdown. Third and short. This is the perfect time for Mahomes. Rushing touchdown, plus 400. Let's go. Help me out, Andy Reid. Make that call. This is a perfect spot. No, get the fullback out. Unless he's the lead. This is a Mahomes sneak. Oh, this is perfect. What a spot. No, don't give it to him. No, Mahomes, don't throw it. I was hoping. Instead, it goes to big number 73. Kind of like it when those big guys score the touchdowns. Kira Lewis Jr., Signature Series. Autograph for Nico and the New Orleans Pelicans. Desmond Bain, I feel like, has been playing some good basketball. All right, for Memphis, Clint with the Grizz. I think there were some John Morant purple parallels, too. But, man, they've been playing some good basketball. That's right, g -Lo. That was a thick six. Another Lamelo for Jesse and the Charlotte Hornets. That's with the spot that Jesse won too. Won the spot, got randomized Charlotte. And so far, a lot of uh, a lot of Lamelo parallels and rated rookie cards. So far, so good.
Oh, Rex says Rex has a spot in our wax party. And and if he if he wins the flawless case, tops chrome black, or UFC Immaculate, or Immaculate UFC, he's gonna break it live on Facebook Live. Hmm. Fumble? Oh, come on, Steelers. Bad time for that fumble. Is the divisional round set? I guess the divisional round is set, right? So wait, what? So what are what are the AFC matchups? Who would the uh, who are the Chiefs gonna host? Would they host the Bengals? No, Bengals go to Tennessee. Tennessee's the one seed. Kansas City, Buffalo, and then Cincinnati, Tennessee. Well, now that my Raiders are out, I obviously want the team that beat my Raiders to go all the way, Chad. Because then I could say, well, at least the Raiders were knocked out by the team, were knocked out by the team that eventually won the Super Bowl. Another touchdown for KC. Who was that dude that put two hundred twenty thousand dollars on Steelers plus thirteen? Their signature series, Robert Woodard. I don't know. I think it's gonna be. I'd like to see Buffalo move on. I think it's going to be Buffalo, Tennessee in the AFC Championship game. Buffalo to beat Tennessee. I guess would be the other question. Suppose it's hard to hard to bet against Tampa Bay to win out in the NFC. But I think a, a Packers Buccaneers Buccaneers going up to Green Bay Packers Buccaneers would be a pretty interesting NFC championship game. Gilo saying Chiefs have a revenge game against Buffalo. Plus, Gilo's guys, the Chiefs guys, will be healthy this time around. I mean, the odds of going to a Super Bowl, you know, 
two times in a row is already pretty difficult, right? So to go three times in a row, it's pretty difficult. I think it'd be good for the hobby if uh, Mahomes doesn't go to the Super Bowl this year, gets knocked out a little early, get a full off season, refresh, regroup, and then knock out another another Super Bowl in 2022, in the 2022 season. It'd be good for the hobby. Give the market a chance to short Mahomes a little bit. Just to set up a, a big run on, on Mahomes later on. We need to work on that Josh, Josh Allen market. He needs to knock out a Super Bowl. The Josh Allen, people who are long on Josh Allen. Oh, nice hollow Cole Anthony. It's for you, Will. Will and Orlando. He's having a nice season this year. Oh. <laughs> Rex left. Rex was listening to me while he's getting ready for work. Left his phone in the kitchen. Then heard rustling, and thought thought his kids were were uh, were going in there to get some chips. But it was just me. Any playoff bounty breaks? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could see something like that happening. Maybe conference championship games. Yeah, this is this is a rough game for the Steelers. Gilo saying Steelers have like forty total yards. This was like some people. I read some people say that this. This game could end up being like Dan Marino's, I guess, last appearance in the playoffs or last game in the playoffs, something like, or last game of the regular of his career, where it ended up being like a sixty to sixty to seven blowout or something like that in Dan Marino's last game. This is this is what we might be seeing here in Big Ben's last game of his career. Still time for my Najee Harris to score a touchdown prop at plus 120. Give it to Najee.
All right, next box. Someone had mentioned this uh, this guy that who had, who had put two hundred twenty thousand dollars on the Steelers plus thirteen. My guess is he would have that person would have hedged out of this bet, right? At this point, you know, if you have that kind of money, are you are you putting like another four hundred thousand dollars on the Kansas City? On Kansas City's second half. Money line, second half money line or something like that. Just to recoup the other side. You're probably doing that. Yeah, I, m I might have dreams about optic basketball tonight. Fever dreams. Harris. I know, that drive they look great. I mean I think I I think that just goes to show just how like old Big Ben got. Yeah. Killian Hayes purple, by the way, goes to Joshua and the Pistons. I have nightmares about these these packs more than the cards themselves.
Ooh, and a purple James Wiseman for the Warriors, Jordan Ashton. We'll take that. Tyrese Halliburton going to the Kings as well. That'll be for Jesse. Dirk Nowitzki, this is the rare blue parallel. Winter stays blue. Blue parallel for Dallas. That'll be for Joshua. It's to 85. 85 out of 85. No, we're not going to post another one of these, Will. In fact, I probably will make a specific request to never see this again. <laughs> it's too long. Give me half case breaks. <laughs> I'll gladly do those. Thankfully, well, because of this break, Will, we are booked for the night. <laughs> so even if we did have it in the shop, we wouldn't be able to do it. We'll do a recap at the end of this break, too. I wasn't hating on the Huskies. I just thought it was someone else, his teammate. When he starts playing like his teammate, Chad, like Anthony Edwards, then, then he'll get some more, more love. I swear, I'm pretty sure that if these packs were better, it'd be like one second a pack. But I think these are. it's now like two to three seconds a pack. So someone do this math. 24... 20 times 3 seconds. Twenty times two seconds times twenty-four box times forty-eight boxes. Divided by sixty seconds for minutes. And see how many minutes this is adding to this break. I think that's the math. Well, she doesn't she doesn't help Jason during breaks though. It's not like she's like pack sacking or anything like that. So that wouldn't quite work out. She's got her own things to do here at Jaspies. If you were under the impression, well, that that, uh, that Jason's that Jason's wife was his assistant here at Jaspies, she would take great umbrage to that. I 
I know. I, I, I need that Mahomes rushing TD. I think he can still do it. I need, or a Najee Harris rushing TD. Ideally, both. You know, I, ideally, both. There's still time for, for both. For both props to hit. Still time. <laughs> I feel like he should have got in there. I should have tweeted Mahomes before the game just to get in his head. Be like, hey, rushing touchdown would be nice. Patrick. No, I feel like they're probably going to take him out. He's got two drives to get it done, says Oliver. Yeah, if he stays in the game. I think at this point, I don't think, I don't think Mahomes is going to see. Maybe, maybe... Maybe one more series in the in the fourth quarter. Right, that's what I need, Justin. I need the Steelers to score again. So no Henny. <clears throat> I need uh, Najee Harris to rush for a touchdown, forcing Mahomes to continue to stay in the game, and then a Mahomes rushing touchdown, and then my props are set. Chiefs cover, and I'm, I'm in good shape. This is a Mahomes run. Let's go. Throw it to give it to Mahomes. Pass it to M No. <laughs> Didn't have to be a run. It's like Mahomes any touchdown, receiving or receiving or rushing. Byron Pringle two touchdowns. Someone had Byron Pringle two touchdowns. KC win plus fifteen hundred. Someone had that. Some probably plus two thousand. I was on the Chiefs. I am on the Chiefs. I just wanted those extra those extra props. Chilo is saying that's got to be annoying. Ending the quarter at the end zone, and then switching sides. Do they really switch sides? Don't they just switch the camera angle? 
points from one side of the field and goes the other side of the field? <laughs> they just slide the grass out and then they just turn their field around. Joshua with the Timberwolves getting all these Anthony Edwards's Edward I Yeah, Mosaic 4 should have been with Jason uh, yesterday.
Yeah, I'm trying to see if I could spot that right now. Unless Jason didn't. Let's break two. I might, I might have to do it after this because I actually don't see. Team four. I see three box. Yeah, the random number two. He did the break right after it. So I'll, let me, I'll have to look that up after this. Maybe he didn't upload it. So I'll, I'll look that up after this break. Shippers aren't going to be happy, yeah. Bowman Jumbos, and then 48 boxes of Optic. I'd be willing to bet this break, I'm sure everyone probably knows this already, but the shipping will probably take an extra day or two to get this out the door. See this being a multi-day project. We got Xavier McDaniel, signature series, Seattle. That'll go to uh, OKC Roy for the Thunder. It's the old school Supersonics.
Purple Emmanuel quickly. For the Knicks, that'll be for Will. All right, second to last box, almost there. Final box, 48th box in this 2021 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball Dual Retail Edition Dual Case Break. 48th box. This is part two of the video. watch part one and the recap at the end of the first case at the end of that video.
You know that Anthony Edwards autograph in part one, Joshua, was really nice, but I really thought we'd see more, some more color. Maybe like some hollow or some purple or something like that for Anthony Edwards, but it just didn't happen. Unless we see it in the end right here. One final LaMelo ball at the very end for Jesse and the Charlotte Hornets. That was part two, everybody. This is also a Wax Party promo break. So let's re-randomize everybody's names here. And the top two will be, and then we'll do a recap. The top two will be in the, uh, the Wax Party. We'll get an invite to the, I guess a virtual party, but still a good one because you got a chance to win some wax. Whole box list is on jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to check that out. All right, so thanks, Will. We made it. All right, so let's flip back to this list right here. Let's gather everyone's names from Aaron down to Andy and everyone in between. New dice, new list, and top two after four and a three. Lucky seven times. Top two after seven. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, from three on down, it's sad times. Very close, Andy. No cigar. Thanks, everybody, for giving this a shot. Top two, you're in the promo. Aaron Billingsley, congrats. And Joshua Edlitz with a spot that he won. Congrats to the both of you. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one and, uh, and the promo randomizer whenever we get those breaks done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next one. Oh, no. Re uh, recap. Caught myself there. Recap. And that Dirk Nowitzki was blue. 85 out of 85. I was like, I knew I was forgetting something when I was doing that little outro. Hollow OB top in. Another hollow Lamello ball. Another Anthony Edwards rated rookie at the beginning there. There you go. Now I'm done. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.